Hi right, guys. Today I want to talk about what, what is, in my opinion, the single most important movement you learn in jiu-jitsu, and that's the hip escape. Okay. Everyone does it a little differently with little uh, with different details, and you know, I don't think that the way some high-level black belts do it's wrong. I know how I do it, and I, I you know I use it to great effect uh, in training, even in tournaments when I'm in uh, I've been mounted in tournaments and use this to get out. I mean, it's the first escape. You know, it's the first way we ever learned how to escape positions with the hip escape, and I still use it to this day with great success. So I think that it's probably the most practical escape we can do, but it's, it's the most common, so you know it's easy to defend against. But I'm going to show how I do it. And this move isn't just applicable to escapes. This is applicable to just playing guard in general. And if you're playing closed guard, you want to scissor sweep someone, you have to hip escape and come here to do it. So understanding how to move efficiently is going to help you in those endeavors as well, even though we mostly use it for escapes. Okay. Now how I do it, it's very simple. You know, I have one leg up, one leg down. I use this as kind of like a starting block, like a sprinter would use. I'm going to push off, because a lot of people, they just turn on their side like this, and they're not really doing anything, okay? But I use this, and whatever leg is up, I'm going to shoot my hips out that way. I'm going to, I'm going to fold in half, shooting my butt out this way. So my right leg's up, my hips and my butt are going to go to the right, and I push off the mat. So if you look at this movement, I'm going to move myself away from any target that would be on top of me, and fold in half. Okay, so you guys see that? You see how I moved? So again, I'll do it this way. Okay, now the reason why, why this move is so important is it allows you to, you know, move effectively. Okay, now when I push myself down the mat, if there's someone on top of me and side mounted here or mounted me here, they have to keep moving to keep up with me, to hold me down. If they're moving, that means they're not stable, which means I can escape, and that's the whole point. So I push myself down. Watch how far I shoot myself. Okay? Taking myself away from whatever danger. Okay? If someone was side mounted on me here, I get my frame. Okay? I've taken my hips out of the equation. I've moved my hips away. Okay? And then if, if someone was side mounted, I could spin back in and get guard. Okay? Now, if you notice that when I do this, I crunch up here into a little ball. I go elbow to knee. Now I do elbow to knee because say someone is side mounted on me and I get this in here, they're still on top of me but now they're no longer side mounted. Now I have a little shell here, okay? Yeah, this is a little barrier that they have to break. So I can sit here like this and I'm protected. You know, even if I come back up like this, I have a little shell here. Even if they're on top of me and they pass my guard, this elbow to knee allows them not to get position on me, okay? And this comes from the hip escape. You know, everyone, like I said, everyone does it differently. The biggest thing is take your hips away. If someone's mounted on me, I have this leg up, I'm going to push this knee down. And as I push this knee down, shooting that out, they're off balance. And see, and that's when I hook and go to the other side. You know, it's almost good to over-exaggerate and really shoot your hips and butt out, okay? And push as hard as you can off the mat. And if you can move three or four feet down the mat, good. You know, you just don't want to do it like this. Some guys do it like this. Okay, I mean the movement in theory and in general is correct, but it's just not efficient, okay? When you hip escape, you know, you know what you're escaping, whether it's mount or side mount, you want to have this up, the other one down, okay? And the one that's up, it's like a sprinter on the block, you're going to push off of this as hard as you can. I'm digging my toes into the mat and pushing myself down the mat, okay? Almost like I'm doing this, okay, see so I push myself down, but I'm doing it on my side. Because you have more power when you're on your side, when you're flat, their weight's on top of you and you're smashing into the mat, whether they're mounted or side mounted, okay? So you bring this here, hands up, okay? Okay, now no matter what kind of trouble I'm in, this is gonna help me get out of it, okay? And this is the key, elbow to knee, really over-exaggerated, take my hips out of the equation, okay? And as for guard work, you know, no matter, if I'm playing close guard, I wanna go for a sweep, I still have to do hip escape movements and turn my hips one leg up, one leg down to initiate a lot of sweeps. So understanding this just helps your overall uh, jiu-jitsu game immensely. This is like, I'm not big on having crazy warm-ups in the classes I teach, but this is one thing I'll do. I'll have guys for five or six minutes just go up and down the mat doing hip escapes because it's that important. I want it second nature, okay? I want it to where you wake up in the middle of the night doing a hip escape. I've done that before. 
But the better you get at this, the better your jiu-jitsu gets. So it's bottom line because for any guard, you know, for any guard you're going to play or anytime you're on bottom, you have to know this movement, you know. A lot of guys, when they get mounted or side mounted, they panic and they push the guy off and they try just to scramble up, and that can work, but it also leaves you exposed. This keeps you safe, you know. Elbow to knee, I'm in tight, I'm taking my hips away. You know, it's a big movement, but I'm, I'm safe. You know, just trying to push a guy off you and stand back up is risky. You know, obviously, doing a hip escape on the street is, uh, can be dangerous, but regardless, it's a, it's a necessary movement, a need-to-know movement. Man, the better you get at hip escape, the better you'll get at jiu-jitsu, I guarantee it.